Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to create uh, this part. It looks quite uh, advanced, but it is easy to create in IronCAD. So I will begin with an extrude shape and drop it here. And we see the width is 100 and the length is 200, so I will go to IntelliShape level and, and then select this handle, type 100. Then that handle is now selected, so I type 200. Then I press D to fit the scene in the camera. And we see that the thickness is 25 here. And then we have this part, it's uh, 10. So I will change the thickness here to 35. And then we have uh, on this side, this is 40 from uh, this edge up to that edge, 40. And here we have 25. So the difference is 15, so I will add uh, an extrude shape and I drop it here on the midpoint because now I can right drag this handle and change the, the width in both directions. Use the shift key to snap to this side here. Grab this handle and the shift key to snap. And the length, we have 60, so I will type 60 here. And the height was 15, like so. Then I will continue with this feature. So I will zoom in a bit, like so. We see that the radius of uh, this part is 25. That means that the width is 50. So I will use an extrude shape and drop it here. And the width 50, it's, uh, it's already 50. And the length is 40 plus 25, that's uh, 65. And then I will round these edges. So I will come up here to select blend edges and uh, select this edge here. Type 25 here, hit enter. Then I select that, the other edge and hit enter. Then I will add a cylinder, come over here to select cylinder drop it here in the center and the diameter of the cylinder is 25 and the height is 15. So now when it is already selected I type 25, hit enter and then I can change that to 15. Then I will cut a hole and the diameter of the hole is 12. So I use a cut cylinder, drop it here and type 12 and hit enter. And the depth well, I don't know, but uh, I will make it go to this um, level and snap to that um, face or the surface, like so. So now we have to move this feature to the right position. So I will select it in Intel shape level, shift select the cylinder and the hole, and then I turn on the tribal by pressing Q. Then I move, unlock the tribal and right click the um, center handle to point, so I will move the tribal to this corner here. Lock the tribal by pressing the space bar. Then I right click here to point to this side, right click here, deselect the axis and right click to point to this side. And then when this axis is already selected, I left click and hold and drag to rotate it. Then we have to rotate it 20 degrees. So I'll type 20 here and hit enter. Then I deselect the axis by clicking outside, right click the center handle to point to this corner. Now I can move this feature 15 millimeters, push here and then let go and type 15 and hit enter and remove the tribal. So now it is in the right place or the right position. Next step is to create this feature. So I do the same, drag an extrude shape and drop it here. And we see that the um, radius is 35, that means uh, 70 in width. So I select uh, this handle, type 70. The length is 50 plus 35, that's 85. I select that handle, type 85. And then I will um, round these edges here, add a blend, 
and the radius is 35 so I come up here to select blend edges select this uh, edge of course I can now uh, select the radius here in properties and type 35 I can also use this handle use the shift key to snap to the midpoint and now I can select the other edge and hit enter then I will cut a hole uh, 25 and 5 millimeters in depth so I use a cut cylinder drop it here uh, 25 and the depth will be 5 like so and then I will use uh, or cut these so I use a cut extrude and I drop it here in the center and uh, then I right push the handles so that I can change them in both both directions and the width is 10 so, uh, so I type 10 hit enter then I move grab the upper handle the height handle snap to the top and this one should go up to the bottom here to the bottom of, bottom of the hole and then I grab this handle and snap to this edge and do the same on this side like so then I need another one so I turn on the tribal and the tribal is now positioned in the center here because that's where I dropped the, the cut extrude so now I can select this axis, right drag inside the tribal to rotate, drop it there, copy, only one but I need 90 degrees like so. Then I remove the tribal, adjust these uh, cut extrude a bit, do the same on this side, snap it to the edge. Then we need to cut a hole in the center so I use a cut cylinder, drop it here and the diameter is 15 and the depth well I don't really know but make it 15 so now we have to move this feature so I select uh, this uh, block in the IntelliShape level shift select these two that one and the hole in the center so now I have to zoom in to, to select it like so then I turn on the tribal, move the camera to this side, unlock the tribal and move the tribal to this point and lock the tribal. First I will, we see that, uh, move the feature, we see that it should be 100 millimeters from this side. So I right click this handle, distance from point, this side, 100 and then I deselect the axis right click here to point to this side and uh, then I when it this axis now selected I left click and hold to rotate this feature and we should rotate it uh, let's see now 30 degrees and we see that now it we I have uh, 331 that means minus 30 degrees hit enter then we need to move it straight down to do that in this case I have to adjust the tribal a bit so I unlock the tribal right click inside the tribal orient tribal to global and then lock the tribal again select the axis grab the center handle and drag it so it will snap to the this uh, surface like so then I remove the tribal so now it is in place and I think I have to change the thickness of this one a bit so I select it and make it a little bit thicker like so next step is to make this cut so I use a cut cylinder and I drop it here and the diameter is 100 so I select that one 100 hit enter then I turn on the tribal move it up a bit so that I will get an edge down here then I deselect the axis unlock the tribal right click the center handle 
to point and this node down here. Then I lock the tribal. And we see that the, diff uh, the distance between that node and the top is 5 millimeters. So now I can right click and uh, edit distance from point, this point, that's 5 millimeters. And then we have this distance, 60 millimeters. So now I deselect the axis, unlock the tribal. We see that the cylinder has now made a cut here. So I can right click the center handle to point. So now I will get a point here. Lock the tribal, then right click and edit distance from this side. And that should be 60, like so. Then I turn off the tribal and have to adjust the depth of the cylinder or the length of the cylinder. I will snap it to that side here. So now it is in the right position. So now if I deselect, we see that it will uh, cut a little a piece of this feature here. So I have to make uh, change that a little bit. So I select the, the, this feature by pressing the Alt and left click. In that way I can select a, a feature in IntelliShape level. When it is selected, I right click, go to Edit Cross Section. Here I grab a two point line, drag a line across the circle, press Escape and then use Trim to trim these parts or the lines. Press Escape again, right click and choose Finish Drawing. So now we have fixed that. So now the question is, how do we fix this gap? Well, if we go to Face and Edge Select, you will get the handle here. If you drag the handle, you will add an extrude shape. So now if I use the shift key to snap to the top, we can fill that gap. But we have to cut that uh, extra extrude shape. If you come over here to Theme Browser, we see that we have the, the extrude shape here. So how do we make a cut? Well, we have this one. So if we move this extrude shape above the last cylinder, the H cylinder, it will cut through the last extrude shape, like so. Now we will cut these, so I will use a cut extrude and drop it here. And I will grab this handle, let's see now. Alt, left click to select it in IntelliShape level. Grab the handle, snap to the bottom, snap that one to this side, make it go right through, snap on this side, and then the thickness is 10. So I select this handle and type 10, hit enter. And the width is 50. So now that handle is already selected, so I type 50 and hit enter. Then I need to copy this cut extrude, so I use the tribal, right drag this handle in this direction and drop it there. Uh, click copy and OK. Then turn off the tribal and we see that the, uh, it, the difference here or the distance from this side to that side is 35.5. So I select that, cut extrude, right click here, edit distance from that point, that's 37.5. And the width is 25, so I select that handle type 25 and then I use the tribal to make another copy drag it to this position copy it click OK and then I turn off the tribal select that cut extrude drag that to this side to snap to that side and then we have uh, the distance here 100 millimeters so I right click this handle edit distance from that point and that's 100 and hit enter. Press D to fit the scene in the camera. So um, this is how you can create this part, a quite advanced part, but it, it is very easy to create it in uh, IronCAD.